Have you ever been home alone and felt the sudden chill of the unknown? The hair-raising sensation of something unseen lurking in the shadows? The deafening silence of an empty house can turn into a symphony of terror as the familiar becomes unfamiliar and every corner seems to hide a potential threat. The mind begins to play tricks, turning the benign into the sinister, the ordinary into the extraordinary. The quiet ticking of a clock transforms into a heartbeat. The whisper of the wind becomes a spectral sigh. This is the chilling reality of being home alone, where every shadow seems to shift. Every noise echoes with an eerie resonance and you are left questioning your own sanity. Today, we're going to explore this unsettling world as we recount three really creepy true home alone stories. Stories that will make you double check your locks, peer into the darkness, and listen for the unexplained. Prepare yourself, for we are about to delve into three true stories that will make you question every creak and shadow in your house when you're home alone. In the dead of night, a young woman finds herself in the grip of fear as an uninvited guest makes an appearance. Imagine the quietude of the witching hour, the clock striking midnight. Our protagonist, a young woman, was home alone, relishing her solitude. Nothing seemed amiss, nothing but the crisp night air whispering tales through the ajar window. She was nestled in the comfort of her living room, engrossed in a book, oblivious to the looming dread. As the clock chimed one, the tranquility was punctuated by an eerie sound, a soft clinking that seemed to echo from the kitchen. Unfamiliar and unsettling, it was a sound that didn't belong in the orchestrated symphony of her nightly routine. Unease began to creep in, replacing the calm. With a deep breath, she ventured toward the kitchen. The house, once a sanctuary, now seemed like an uncharted labyrinth in the dim moonlight. Every shadow seemed to dance with a life of its own. Every creak of the floorboard echoed like a sinister whisper. Yet, the kitchen was just as she had left it, save for a wind chime, swaying gently, its music a haunting melody in the silence of the night. Chalking it up to her imagination, she returned to her book, but the peace had been shattered. The house groaned under the weight of the silence. Every tick of the clock, an ominous drumbeat counting down to an unknown dread. The sense of being watched began to gnaw at her, an unshakable feeling that she was no longer alone. Then it happened. A sudden chill ran down her spine as she heard it a soft, almost imperceptible, scratching sound. It seemed to come from the front door, a persistent, desperate sound that filled her with an unspeakable terror. Frozen in fear, she listened as the scratching grew louder, the sound ricocheting in the silence, growing into a monstrous symphony of fear. Summoning every ounce of courage, she approached the door. The scratching stopped abruptly, replaced by a deafening silence. With a shaking hand, she opened the door, only to find nothing but the empty darkness of the night. Relief washed over her, but it was short-lived. As she turned, her heart skipped a beat. There, in the middle of her living room, stood a chair that wasn't there before. An uninvited guest had made an appearance, leaving behind nothing but a chilling reminder of its presence. The rest of the night was a blur. Dawn couldn't come soon enough. The once comforting solitude had turned into a nightmarish experience, a tale of the uninvited guest. As the first rays of the sun filtered in, she left her house. The terror of the night still etched in her mind. With a final glance at the now empty house, she vowed to never stay home alone again. Mirrors, they say, are gateways to another realm. But what happens when that realm decides to pay a visit? In our everyday lives, we use mirrors to reflect our outer selves, to adjust a piece of clothing, to comb our hair. But imagine, if you will, a mirror that reveals something much more sinister. This is the tale of a man who found himself face to face with the inexplicable, the supernatural, within the confines of his own home. It was a peaceful afternoon when he acquired the antique mirror from a local thrift shop. The mirror with its ornate frame and slightly clouded glass, had an old world charm to it. But little did he know 
the mirror carried with it a story that would soon become his worst nightmare. As days turned into weeks, he noticed something peculiar. The mirror seemed to display more than just his reflection. At first, it was a mere shadow, a flicker in the corner of his eye. He dismissed it as a trick of the light, but the shadow persisted. It grew darker, more defined. It was as if the mirror was slowly revealing another entity, another world. The man tried to ignore it, to rationalize it, but the shadow in the mirror started to take a more human form, a form that was not his own. It was a figure, a silhouette of a woman. Her features were vague, but there was no denying the chilling presence that now inhabited his mirror. The mirror had become a portal, a gateway to another realm. He could see her, but he couldn't touch or communicate with her. This realm was eerie, a world of shadows in his mirror. His home, once a haven of comfort, had become a house of horrors. Fear turned into obsession. He found himself drawn to the mirror, to the woman in the shadows. She was a mystery, a terrifying enigma. He would spend hours staring into the mirror, lost in the depths of its darkness, trying to understand what he was witnessing. One fateful night, the man saw the woman move. She reached out, her hand extending towards him. The temperature in the room dropped, his heart raced, and he could see his breath in the cold air. It was as if she was trying to cross the boundary between their worlds. The man, overcome by fear, smashed the mirror into pieces. But it was too late. The shadowy woman was free. She had stepped out of the mirror and into his world. He could feel her presence, her cold touch, her whispering voice. The mirror, once a mundane object, now held a terrifying secret that would haunt him forever. He was no longer alone in his home. The mirror had unleashed a shadow, a specter from another realm. The man was left to wonder, had he invited this entity into his world? Or was she always there, waiting, lurking in the shadows of the mirror? The mirror, once a mundane object, now held a terrifying secret that would haunt him forever. Walls have ears, they say, but what if they also had voices? Let's plunge into the heart of the final tale of this trio of terror, a story of the walls that whispered. In the quiet town of Northampton, a young woman named Emily found herself alone for the week as her family took a vacation she couldn't join due to work commitments. Emily was no stranger to solitude, but this time the house seemed unusually silent, even eerie. Her ears, attuned to the silence, began to pick up a faint, whispering sound like a hushed conversation taking place in the walls. At first, she dismissed it as the house settling, or maybe the wind playing tricks. Days passed, and the whispers grew louder. Emily couldn't make out any distinct words, but the voices were unmistakably human. The hushed tones seemed to echo through the hollows of the house, creating an orchestra of inaudible chatter. Emily began to feel a sense of unease creeping over her. The once familiar walls of her home felt alien, almost hostile. The whispers continued, growing in intensity with each passing day, gnawing at Emily's sanity. The once faint murmurs had evolved into a cacophony of indistinct voices, filling the house with a sense of dread. Emily's nights were filled with restless tossing and turning, the whispers invading her dreams turning them into nightmares. Sleep-deprived and terrified, Emily decided to investigate. She pressed her ear against the walls, trying to decipher the whispers. She roamed from room to room, but the voices seemed to follow her, their unintelligible chatter echoing in her ears. The walls, once her home's protective shield, now seemed to close in on her, their whispers becoming her prison. In desperation, Emily called a local paranormal investigator, hoping for answers. The investigator arrived with a bag full of equipment, ready to solve the mystery of the whispering walls. He listened, recorded, and analyzed, but found nothing. The walls remained eerily silent in his presence. Confused and terrified, Emily was left alone with the whispering walls once more. The investigator's departure seemed to spur the voices back into action, their whispers filling the house with an eerie symphony of sound. Emily, driven to the brink of her sanity, screamed at the walls, 
pleading for silence. And then, just as suddenly as they had begun, the whispers stopped. The silence was deafening, the absence of sound almost as terrifying as the whispers themselves. Emily stood in the midst of her quiet home, her breath hitching as she waited for the whispers to return. But they remained silent. When Emily's family returned, they found her a changed woman. Her eyes held a far-off look, her hands trembled and she jumped at the slightest sound. She never spoke of the whispers to her family, fearing they would think her mad. But she knew what she had heard and the memory of the whispering walls haunted her long after the voices had silenced. Silenced, the walls now stood as a chilling reminder of the nightmarish ordeal. The house was no longer a home, but a prison of memories, its walls echoing with whispers that only Emily could hear. One has to wonder, when walls start whispering, is it a message from the other side? Or is it our own fears and insecurities talking back to us? When the walls of your home start whispering, will you listen or will you run? As we step away from these chilling tales, remember, the shadows in your house are often just that. Shadows. Shadows that dance and twist, creating a theater of the macabre in the quiet corners of your home. But these stories, these spine-tingling accounts, they remind us that sometimes, those shadows can take on a life of their own. Isn't it fascinating, the power of the human mind? How it can take the ordinary and twist it into something truly terrifying? How a creaking floorboard or a rustling curtain can become a specter in the night, a phantom chill creeping down your spine. So let's hear from you. Share your thoughts, your reactions. Have you ever found yourself home alone? The silence around you swelling into a symphony of fear? Have you ever felt the icy touch of the unknown, seen the unseeable? Until next time, keep the lights on and remember, you're never truly alone.